What point did you feel that you had gained control of the game and you know, putting, putting a scare into them? Making a, making a stretch for the last four minutes and just, just knocking in. You know, they, had a, uh, they were making some incredible shots. That, that shot down the mid-range was, was critical. But we made good strides today as a team. We made very good strides as a team. Yeah, the same thing. What, what was kind of the talk at halftime? Um, it was basically like we couldn't do the same thing we did against Dayton. We had to come out in the first four minutes and just punch them in the mouth. But they're a very good team, so it was, they made it hard on us. So we just got to keep working. and making steps in the right uh, direction. Trey, what changed for you guys, you know, from the 16-point deficit to the three-point difference? I feel like it was just our defensive uh, intensity and just executing on offense and just listening to what Coach D says and just trusting him and that he's going to put us in the right spots. Primo, for you, just some man one plays. You were seeing the court wall, six assists against a turnover. Just how do you describe the heart you had tonight and the heart this team had trying to battle back? Well, we know it was a big game, especially coming off two losses. Mine is very experienced, um, so we just we just needed to lock in. I thought we shared the ball better than we shared all season, and that was my goal. My goal is to get five, six assists, get the ball movement, and, and, and we did that today. Jay, what was it like trying to guard your six ten Osa? Well, he's a very good player. He made it difficult on me at times when he's uh, crashing the glass like that. So he made it tough. He's a good player. So I just gotta keep working and just come back next time we see them and just get the job done. Is he being physical with you? Uh, yeah, he's a very physical guy. You giving it back to him? <laughs> yeah. As much as you could? Yeah. Trey, Trey with Aust obviously it's awesome being out. It's, it's you know, a bummer for the whole team. But for you specifically, obviously, a little bit more minutes, maybe a little bit more responsibility. I don't know. How, how, do you, how are you feeling about that sort of challenge with that? Uh, I, I expected that coming in here. Just I, would, I wasn't like thinking it's going to be easy. So I was just thinking it's going to be hard all season. I had to just get my body in shape all summer. I've been just working towards this, so now that it hit me, it's just, it's just, I have to just go with it. Yeah, how, how do you kind of approach battles against guys like Ashuni or, or uh, you know, Holmes or Dayton, like guys that are obviously a little bit bigger than you, but, but you know, someone's got to guard or someone's got to play against them, you know? Yeah, I just, I just take it one game at a time, just try to come out and play harder than he can. For both you guys, I mean, there's some numbers. If you if I told you in advance, like you're gonna hold the ball for one field goal and trade at 15 and 11 with just one foul. I mean, there's some numbers that look like they really spoke well of how things went. It was just the shooting from the floor in the first half. If you had to do all over again, you kind of like to reboost. Oh yeah, thank you. Oh yeah, definitely in the first half, I felt like we came out with some jitters and weren't making enough shots. And when we got down that uh, that early stretch, I think it was like 16 or something. Like we just can't let that happen again. We just had to come out and be focused and just knock our shots in. You saw two primo. Was there anything else that kind of leapt off the page at you? Um, just just weather and the storm. Um, I thought we played good in spurts. We just got to just focus on playing a, a solid 40 minutes of basketball. And I feel like once we do that, like we're young or we're unexperienced for the most part. So we just got to play a 40 minute game of basketball. And once we do that, I feel like we'll be very, very good. And all of our losses, we, we played in spurts. You mentioned earlier that you feel like tonight was another step forward for you guys. I'm curious how you sort of stay focused on that, you know, because I know that it can be frustrating to make step forward but still lose a game. So how do, how do you just kind of stay focused on, like, the process part? That you Coming know? into the season, um, very, very, like I said, we're very unexperienced, very young. Um, a lot of we, I'm a freshman, Jackie's a freshman. We, nobody's really played, transfers played in this conference, so. We just knew that it was going to be a, a think of long term, and that's what Coach expects for us: think long term and just just focus, focus day by day. Don't focus on the score. Just focus about playing the right way. Focus on that stuff, that action. So just just in the moment stuff, bigger than the bigger picture. Yeah, Coach talks about like how determined he is to, to stick this out, to figure this out. You you feel like the whole team kind of feels the same way. Yeah, I think yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely bought in. I think it showed today. Like we didn't give up at all. Big, and I thought we. We gave up once they once they hit us in the mouth, and today we just showed a lot of fight. A lot of, we moved the ball very well, even in even in their spurts, even in long runs, we we still stuck with it. Trey, for you, a lot of second chance points on their end. Was it rim watching? Was it what Oshuni was doing in particular to get to the ball? What do you think attributed to those second chance points in the paint? Uh, yeah, I just felt like it was me helping too much on the uh, on the ball. I felt like I should have just 
let the uh, let the guards make tougher shots over our guy over our guards instead of just trying to come over and block shots because we didn't make a lot of chip downs tonight. So I take part in that. You mentioned that the guys had jitters at the beginning. What do you think was the reason for the jitters? Uh, just thinking, just thinking about the game. It's a big game. They're they're a very good team, very experienced. So I felt like it was just like we just had the jitters because we knew how important this win would be. Coach Damrod said after the Dayton game he was going to clobber you guys in the head all week about the importance of ball movement. Did you say that improved over the course of the week and uh, you got put into action today? Most definitely. Yeah, definitely. We, we preached that in practice all week. It was times where we were running uh, plays just the whole 30 seconds throughout the shot clock just to uh, get that focus on ball movement. So I really think that showed tonight. I think Coach definitely emphasized it, but as a team, and it, like we, we definitely emphasized that as a team, and I think that's what made it work today. All season, he's been preaching moving the ball. We, we kind of not disobeyed him, but it hasn't, it hasn't shown. But I think it's shown today, and I think if we do it offensively.